God says that when the heavens opened, that he saw the spirit of God. He saw the spirit of God. He saw the Holy Ghost. I, I know that most times we don't really talk about things like the ability to see the Holy Spirit. But Jesus saw the Holy Spirit. Uh, are you see here? I said Jesus did what? He saw the Spirit of God. He didn't tell us what he looked like. But he described how he came. How did he come? Like a dove. He descending upon him like a dove and what? Give me another version to this one. Give me another version, maybe amplified or um, I, I want to give you, I want to show you something. He descended upon him as a dove. That means if you are somebody that is always looking for loud experiences. Huh? You know, the people around you, there was somebody that stood in front of Jesus just before they baptized him. You know, it was a cue. The man in front didn't notice anything. The same way you are sitting like this, and the Holy Spirit might be descending on you. The sister sitting close to you may even be thinking of what they will cook when they will get home. Because those are some of the conditions. Are you able to get, if you can't? The, the word I wanted to look at there, descending like a dove, lighting down upon him, coming down on him. So there was a target. There was, the spirit didn't just come. The Holy Spirit doesn't just show up. Every time you see his manifestation, he came for somebody. Come on, say he came for me. And there are many times we have lost major experiences simply because we are looking for God in loud places. In fact, when God appeared to Elijah uh, after he, uh, he ran away from Jezebel, the scripture said there was what? There was thunder, there was lightning, there was earthquake, and yet God was not in any of those things. If God speaks to your heart and is God, is equally as powerful as when you hear the audible voice. Now, whether it is God you are hearing is not another thing, but I'm just telling you that God is not in loud things most of the time. And that something is loud doesn't mean God is there. Which is the reason why we can have mega churches in a place like Lagos. And yet, you wonder, uh, where can I recommend for somebody, if somebody here now moves to Igondo or moves to Apapa, if I ask all of you now, recommend two good churches there. Does any church readily come to your mind? Most times, you may need Google to help you. Google is your friend. 